ka -chow. The Lightning McQueen bundle has officially dropped in Rocket League. Now, I know a lot of you might say, but tenacity. Epic Games is just shoving yet another microtransaction down our throat. And to that, I say, yes, I, I totally agree with you. This is absolutely a cash grab. It is unfortunate timing with the removal of trading, but also this is a massive collaboration that Rocket League, I'm sure, has been trying to uh, accomplish for quite some time now. I mean, come on. You have a video game about rocket-powered cars going fast, and you have one of the biggest, like, movies franchises in like animation history in cars and you you never thought to, to to put the two together like come on man um so if this news and this bundle would have came out before the news of trading i think it would have been much more positively received and i know i told you guys i wasn't going to give any more money to epic and i'll stay true to that i'll buy it so you guys don't have to so that's what we're gonna do in this video today i'm going to purchase this lightning mcqueen bundle and i'm gonna give it a shot i know a lot of us are going on this kind of epic games item shop uh straight and I totally agree with it. I think you guys definitely should not be purchasing anything from the item shop unless it's something that you just feel like you absolutely have to get in order to show Epic that we will not put up with their shenanigan. All right, so let's go ahead and hop into it. So, like I said, guys, the bundle includes all of this stuff. So, it's got the reactive Lightning McQueen. Lightning McQueen reacts to speed, narrowing his eyes with intensity as he accelerates. That's that's pretty neat. I'm not going to lie to you. Uh, you got the classic Dynaco decal. The classic oldies style cruising decal uh, from Radiator Springs. Then you got the white walls, which honestly, the white walls are kind of clean. Like, the, the, those could be good wheels for other cars as well. You got the Dynaco and the normal racing wheels. You got the Kachow goal explosion. Which, uh, I don't know. It, let me see. I have to see what that looks like in-game. Uh, then you got a player banner and a player anthem. I already told you guys that I I don't really agree with what Epic is doing with Rocky League. I, I, I do hold out for some hope that uh, good things are coming. And I know I also told you guys that I wasn't going to be spending any more money on Rocket League, um, which is why we're doing this video. You know, I figured if I buy it, you guys can watch this video and decide for yourself if you want it. Because I know a lot of you guys really, really love cars. And you've also really been waiting for this bundle to come out for a long time. Now, sometimes Rocket League actually sends me a code to open this bundle for free and make content out of it. Well, that, that didn't happen this time. Um, um, it might be because I've kind of been trashing, you know, all the recent updates with them and everything. I don't know, man. I, I, I'm not I'm not offended by it, but uh, that did not happen this time. But again, I know a lot of you guys are thinking about buying this car and you're scared that you're going to spend like 20, 30 bucks on it and like end up never using it, which happens a lot with these bundles. So I'm going to buy this bundle. I'm going to give it a shot and you guys can decide if you want to or not. I promise, guys, I'm only buying this to help you. Here we go. Three, two, one. We have done it. All right. We got all the new stuff. I want to see what that looks like in game because if it doesn't look like solid. Ooh, wait, that's actually clean. Hold on, hold on. Broad bolt. Oh, dude, that's like perfect. Wait, what? That's like perfect. Okay, sick. All right, guys. So we're going to give it a shot. We got the classic Lightning McQueen car here. And uh, we're going to go play a few games of ones. And we're going to see how it feels, man. It's a Dominus hitbox. So you Dominus mains out there, you guys have been getting a lot of love. That Porsche that came out, um, that was also Dominus hitbox. I mean, so far, it doesn't feel bad. And also, it said it was reactive. So the faster you go, he squints his eyes. So let's slow down. He opens it. He's happy. And then I thought it was going to be like... As soon as you start going kind of fast at all... Hold on. Watch it, guys. Watch it. So, like, as soon as you start going fast at all, he does it. I, th I thought it was going to be, like, his eyes squint more and more as he goes faster. And then when you're supersonic, he's, like, he's like squinting. That is not the case. But that's okay. I mean, definitely not terrible. It's not terrible. I'll tell you what, though. I'm, I, I don't know how I feel about this goal explosion. I don't really think it's my favorite. I wish it was a little bit more 3D. It's like it's, like it's 2D, and it just kind of, like, orients itself to wherever you're at on the field. Pretty good kickoff for us. All right, let's see if the if the uh, Dominus flicks hold true. Almost got it there. I have, dude. Uh, this trail I'm using is kind of perfect, actually. He's gonna slow it down. Let's kind of like give him a little shimmy. See what he does here. There we go. It's a good challenge. And we got the demo, Light McQueen. Getting dirty. Oh, great save by him. Kind of fake that. Fake it again. Oh, that was weird. He, like, bumped us. Wait, that was so glitchy. I know you guys saw that. That was super glitchy, bro. 
So sad it's not an octane hitbox. I can kind of agree here. I'll tell you what. This car definitely, in my opinion, would look better with a good old-fashioned... Or, it would not look better. It definitely would be better if it was an octane hitbox, just because... Octane hitbox, I feel like, more aligns with the car itself. But, I mean, looking at it now, it is kind of flat. You know, it is kind of flat, so Dominus might actually be the better option here. Not 100%, though. Oh, good save. Good save, McQueen. Also, I feel like I might know a little bit as to why it doesn't really look right. I forgot to put on the wheels, man. I forgot to put the wheels on. There's that speed, McQueen. That's what I'm talking about. There we go. Bring it down low, baby. Oh, that's a beautiful... Beautiful McQueen flick there. ka -chow, baby. I just own gold that. You know what? We can come back. We can come back. We got this. We got the Lightning McQueen style on our side here. Mmm. ka -chow, baby. I need this boost. Let's go. I think that's in. Oh, guys, we're within one. Here we go. Should have been a hybrid hit bro hybrid hitbox. I kind of agree. I feel like for this car, hybrid hitbox would have worked the best. Oh my God! What a save! That was too close, man. That was too close. All right. That looks a lot better. I don't know, man. Those wheels. It's very important. Now it's on. Exactly. Yeah, so far, definitely uh, an interesting car. I don't hate it for sure. Let's see how, how the Musty's feeling. Ooh, okay. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. But, uh, you know, I've, I've learned something from watching other creators like Jamaican Coconut that if you can get really good with a Dominus hitbox... You know, good things might come in your future because uh, Dominus gets some crazy power on some of these touches, man. Bumblebee or McQueen? That is a good question. Oh, now I really liked Bumblebee. I don't know what it was. When Bumblebee came out, I genuinely enjoyed that, man. When Bumblebee first came out and I was using that, uh, that whole that whole bundle. I actually really liked it. Now, sitting here with McQueen, if I had to choose, I think I might go Bumblebee. So far, from what I have currently been experiencing here, I think Bumblebee would be my preferred car. But as I'm using old McQueen here, it's, it ain't too shabby. All right, here, let's see what we got. Right, let's play it slow. Oh, he's also rocking McQueen. Who's the better McQueen? This is gonna be a good, this is a battle for the ages, man. Well, at least he isn't bumping. That's good. Not a bumping McQueen. That's a great start for him, though. All right. He starts off with a flip reset. Here we go. All right, All right McQueen. Show us something, bro. Ooh. He did not show us anything. I think we're scored on again. No. <laughs> it was worth a shot, man. We had to give it a shot there. Okay, okay. I got a little McQueen flip reset. I mean, heck, we're paying like $30 for this. They really should have included a Kachow quick chat, man. I mean, you're paying that much money. A, a Kachow quick chat would just be OP. It's gonna probably... Oh, not in. Oh, this one will be. Nice. Kachow! <laughs> Oh. Oh! Give the old razzle dazzle. I learned that one from Doc, y'all. <laughs> I'm going to let him take this. Might be a mistake. Oh, I knew he was going to go low, man. Good shot. Good shot. Come on, baby. Come on.
Oh, yeah. Oh, I said it wrong. It's float like a Cadillac. Oh, I did it wrong. <laughs> My defense, I haven't seen that movie in a while. <laughs> float like a Cadillac, sting like a beaver. Ah, close enough. GG. <laughs> I said it wrong both ways. <laughs> Yo, I haven't, I haven't watched it in a while, guys. Get off my case. All right. Float like a Cadillac. Sting like a beam. Is that what he said? Like a beamer? Like BMW? Guys, I'm not even joking. I never knew that. Like, as a kid, I always said beaver. Beavers exist in the world of car. I thought it was a car making model. I don't know, man. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I think I like this better than the classic. I like this a lot better than the... Whoa. Okay, something about... The like the oldie style, it's like cleaner. I don't, I like the no spoiler as well. Yeah, the no spoiler is nice. Twenty five hundred is too expensive. You know what, guys? I will totally agree. The one, th so the whole point of this video is to try and uh, give you guys some perspective before you spend that. Like, and this is just for a lot of you guys aren't gonna buy it regardless. But um, the whole point of what I am doing in this uh, in today's stream and in today's video is pretty much to try and get you guys to see if you think it would be worth it. Now, some of you guys aren't gonna care, right? Some of you guys genuinely don't want to spend not only just the massive twenty five. 500 credits for this bundle but also i mean some of you guys just don't want to spend any money period because it's epic games and you just don't really appreciate what they're doing right now with uh the scope of like trading and rocket league in general but i know there's a lot of people out there who have been waiting for a uh, collaboration like this waiting for like a little partnership where cars are involved like acting like cars the movie not like literal cars because that's all of rocket league but um you know you can decide for yourself if it's worth the 25 dollars. now my personal opinion i don't think it's worth $25 because that's a lot of money man like $25 is is pretty insane especially for a bundle now if, if there's a big nostalgia factor of course you know and if rock league is your favorite game and cars is one of your all-time favorite movies i can of course see the appeal there and in my opinion I, I really wish that epic games would do some some different things here because they really are excluding not only a big part of their community but at the end of the day you know, it really just feels like they don't really care too much about their players, you know? That's what it feels like. You know, like collaborations that people can really get behind. I feel like this is one of those collabs, you know? Like, a lot of people enjoy cars. Like, literally. The movie. I just think that uh, 2500 is just a little too much. I feel like 10, to 10 bucks probably would have been a reasonable one. Oh! Okay, now that flick was nice. That, I'm not going to lie to you guys. That flick was pretty... That, that one was kind of clean. Oh, here we go. You guys ready for the ka-chow? Ka chow baby! <laughs> like I said, I know there's a lot of you guys who are boycotting. And I've already refrained from buying several things from the item shop. Listen, I've given Rocket League and Epic Games an absolute crap ton of money to begin with. Like, before this whole trading debacle and all those crappy updates and stuff. And I am definitely not happy with the direction they're going with this game. I mean, if all they're going to be doing is microtransactions for, like, the entirety... I mean, all right, let me, let me think of, like, Fortnite. So, the difference between Rocket League and Fortnite, other than the obvious stuff, is that with Fortnite, they're coming out with amazing updates. Like, they're really changing the game. It's not just the same shit. Now, the game at its core is pretty similar, but, like, this OG... Ooh, oh, I thought I hit that. With this OG Fortnite update, right? GG, well played. You know, I think that uh, Epic Games with Psyonix, they see that the community is not particularly happy about, like, the direction that the game is going. Pretty much any updates we've gotten over the past several months have literally only been about new bundles that you can buy. And I'm, that's not an exaggeration. Like, the past few months, literally all it is is any updates for Rocket League have been like, oh, we've got a new item in the shop, or oh, you guys can purchase this bundle. Ooh, money. We want your money. And nothing else. There's been, like, really no other updates. Updates. No content updates for the future. No, no RLCS updates. And the hope is that they're building up to something. That the reason that there has been radio silence is because they are working on something and they're not ready to announce it yet. Now, that is, of course, the hope. And, uh, you know, if, if they come out and they say something along those lines, like, hey, you know, we, we hear you guys. We know you've been upset. And the reason, you know, like, this is what we're doing for the future. If they come out, then I am all for Rocket League. You know, I'm not going to be buying every single bundle. 
Oh, that's a great shot. I should have been a little bit further in. Um, also, for those of you guys who haven't heard Epic Games, uh, it's rumored, it's, it's not confirmed, that Epic Games uh, for Fortnite is coming out with a racing mode that is tied directly in with Rocket League. Some people say that's exactly why they're doing the trading, um, all that stuff, is because of this new game mode. Basically, it's just racing in Fortnite, which, of course, is not what we want to hear because that's an update for Fortnite, not for Rocket League. And I know that you guys, like, that's the opposite of what you want to hear. But... I think that there might end up being a new Rocket League game mode as well. You know, like if um, a Rocket League game mode comes out that's like racing, I feel like the community would really enjoy that. Okay, I don't know how that went in. It can't do anything here. Yeah, we're good. Are right, you guys ready for the ka-chow? ka, -chow? ka -chow! Okay. I mean, I wasn't wrong. <laughs> I wasn't wrong. And I haven't really played it at all, you know, in, in like recent times, but the new OG. Ka chow. GG. Oh, and then he forfeited. We'll take it. We'll take it. Yeah, there's a few people who have come in the chat and, uh, and, and come down on me for the hypocritical, uh, ness of the fact that I bought this. Rocket League, not only, undoubtedly has gone a direction that I don't love, but at the end of the day, I am a content creator and this is big news. And I don't really know of a way to introduce everyone to news in Rocket League without doing things like this. I'm still not buying anything from the item shop. This is a bundle that the timing is super unfortunate just because this is like the, if this would have came out before the trade announcement and all that stuff, man, this would have been the biggest news for Rocket League in a long time. And I am not telling anyone to go buy it. My honest review is this is not worth 2,500 uh, credits. That's that's my honest review. It's cool. It's cool. It's, it's interesting. You know, I do apologize for kind of going back on the, the ban, but I'm doing this so you guys know, you know, because there's a lot of people out there who might want to buy this uh bundle and i'm gonna keep it a buck with you guys unless you're a really big cars fan it's okay but it's not worth that much so yeah uh my final thoughts here guys it's cool but in my opinion i don't really think it's worth 2500 um it's cool man i think epic does a great job with fortnite i i was excited when epic bought rocket league or bought psionics that is but i really i still don't love how all they're doing for rocket league right now is just constant new bundles constant new microtransactions. i i i am holding out hope that they've got a big update for us in the future as far as like where the future of rocket league is headed not just for like you know pro rocket league rlcs but also of course for the game itself like new game modes literally anything just anything except for the same crap they've been feeding us rocket league and psionics have taken care of me in the past they've uh they've treated me well they've invited me to things uh you know tournaments events whatever it may be and so like i said i hold out a lot of love for them as a company uh especially psionics i mean epic games it also because they've done a lot for me too but i really don't think that something like this is worth 30 of your dollars. You know what I mean? $30 is a lot. It, I'll leave it up to you guys on whether or not you think it's personally worth it. If you have a lot of stake with Lightning McQueen with cars, then maybe it's your kind of thing that you're willing to drop that amount of cash on. But in my opinion, I really don't think so. And, uh, you know, you guys can do with that what you will. I'm still not buying anything from the item shop. You know, you see a four screen octane. I'm not going to be purchasing anything like that. You know, if they come out with another crazy bundle that's like brand new and big news, I might go ahead and spend the cash so you guys can decide whether or not you think it's worth it but that's my review $30 is a lot of money but I love you guys let's all hope and pray for the future of Rocket League see you in the next video